wife was busy while we were gone. She got, uh, I think she got most of her stuff in there. And got her little solar lights in there. So all those last night when I got up. It just rained last night too. You know, I'm not even going to go whatever, what's what, where. These are some herbs down here. Uh, looks like some uh, basil and rosemary. I guess cucumbers are going down here. That's your sunflower. Uh, field peas are going over here. I don't think she's planting anything down here yet except for these. And I think that's okra. Yeah, that's probably okra too. I'm not even sure what that is. Or that. I know there's some peppers out here somewhere. Yeah, there's squash. Eggplant. Peppers. Peppers, peppers, eggplant. We drove all the way down the store and after calling them, yeah, we got some for Asian eggplants and I texted them too. And two different people said, yeah, we got them. We go down there Friday because we thought they had them and nope, ain't got them. Ain't got none left. Uh, tomatoes, more tomatoes. Uh, not really sure. Not really sure. I think these are all squash over here. And that's uh, field peas over here. I don't even know if she's planted any yet. The uh, long beans. Uh, she's still got tomatoes in there. She didn't get those. Those long beans are already. That's after just uh, probably like three days planting them in the soil. They're already coming up big. So we should have lots of long beans this year. Hopefully I can still find a damn long Asian eggplant. Those things are tasty. Just grill them, skin them, flatten them out, and make a torta talong. But basically, you just egg batter, fry them after you grill them, flatten them out, and grill them, or flatten them out and fry them in an egg batter. Serve them with a little sriracha. They're good like that. There's that tail down here. Growing like crazy still. But that's, that's our little garden. We'll get this thing going and see how it goes in a couple of weeks. If she plants everything else, still got to plant those big tomatoes. That's, she, she does a good job laying it out. Still got to put them two posts in the ground down there at the end for the arbor where the vines can climb up over top of it for the bitter melon. Man, it, yeah. She did a lot better job than I did. Than I do. Got some squash growing on the ground here. Probably move those. I don't know what was, I don't know if it dropped something or something threw seeds out over here. It's, uh, they're squash though. I don't know what kind. And it's kind of hard to tell with squash. When they come up, they all look the same. So you don't know until they actually blossom and start growing out whatever they're growing. Did pretty good last year. I dug up one out of the dug up one out of the compost pen over there. Didn't know what kind of squash it was. Planted it and that thing spread out 20 foot and produced butternut squash like crazy. A lot of them off one plant. It just kept growing and growing and growing. 
I know it was spread. You see where them two posts are there and there? It was spread from the woods all the way to them posts from side to side. Now it was growing up in them damn trees over there. His little lights work good. She wanted those. They're not extremely bright, but they work. Uh, anyway, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and all that jazz. And y'all have a great day.